hi now I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to use the um, simu simulator for um, the Hemholtz coil experiment to EM7 so first thing first I need you to create a directory or a working directory and then you download the materials which is a zip file you download and then you put it inside the folder so now I have downloaded mine and then you click the file and then you right click the file and then you click extract here so basically you need to extract all of the component files in the in 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 the working folder so that the simulator will work properly and then here you double click the simulator folder and then you double click the hemholtz.exe executable and now you'll see that the application is popping out and you'll see the landing page which is the welcome page so I need you to give some time and read the instruction that I've written here so now let's proceed for the first experiment what you need to do is just to click on the single coil and then you turn on the apparatus by just clicking um, the off button and then you toggle into on same goes to the probe so here we have the DC supply so that we can supply the current through um, the single coil and then you increase the current up to um, you can increase the current to an um, I mean into any value let's say now I'm setting the current into 1 ampere and then um, you'll see that there is some fluctuation here on the magnetometer so magnetometer is a meter that tells you the magnetic strength at um, I mean the magnetic strength um, on the x-axis so let's say if I move the magnet the magnetic field sensor from the left to the right you'll see that the the strength of the magnetic field is increasing and then the peak will be at the center of the coil and then if I move further to the right then you'll see that the strength is decreasing so you will expect to see some Gaussian shape um, distribution and then what you need to do you just need to click the record you need to click the record button and then you just move the sensor slowly from la from 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 the right to the left and then you stop recording the data by just clicking the stop button next you go to the data tab and then you'll notice that there are many data points here so what you need to do is just to click copy all press ok and then you go to the Excel file and then you press Control V. 
now your data is already in the Excel so as usual you just insert the chart let's say I'm adding the scatter plot select the data add some series So now you'll see the distribution of this magnetic field strength. It looks like a Gaussian shape. And then um, notice that the Hemholtz coil, not really the Hemholtz coils, lah, the coil is located at the center at x equals to zero. So done for the first experiment. So when you proceed to the second experiment, you go back to the data tab and then you press clear so that um, the previous data will be cleared from the text box under the data tab. For the second experiment, you just click the double coils tab and then you'll notice that there are three sliders. The coil one slider will adjust the position of the first coil, which is on the left hand side. The coil two slider will adjust the position of the second slider. So of course you need to, um, you need to set the separation between the two coils properly which is um, equals to the radius of the coil and then you turn on the apparatus you turn on the magnetometer and then you turn on the current supply let's let's say again i put the current to one ampere approximately one ampere and then i begin um, I begin to press the record button and then I move my sensor from the left hand side slowly and steady I'm going to the right hand side slowly moving my sensor and then I press the stop button to stop collecting the, da collecting the data and then you go back to the data tab and then you'll notice that the data is being has been recorded in the text box you just copy everything press ok and then you paste on the excel file and then you just simply plot the data point So you see the data points form a perfect Gaussian shape distribution. So I need you to play around with the simulator and then you see how does the separation between the two coils responds to the shape of the magnetic field strength. That's all from me. Thanks. And if you have any problem, you just WhatsApp me or you just send me a Telegram chat. Thank you very much.